Hi everyone and welcome to my video today. Before this video starts I just wanted to say something. The reason I'm off school right now is because I have been in contact with someone with coronavirus though I do not have it but I'm self-isolating. Anyway let's get into the videos. It was a quiet day in the small town of Hornby. Everything was calm and pleasant going too bad until this gas lorry starts speeding into the area. He was driving very recklessly and nearly crashed into a police officer, then later on crashed into a taxi and went off the end of the road. Luckily, he passed a police officer, which man? The police were now in pursuit of the vehicle. The vehicle was driving very recklessly, now in the other direction. Heading towards the bus garage and the emergency centre that was newly built. Narrowly missing the buffer stopping the vehicles passing around the corner and hitting the buses. And then Sorry, was in serious danger. Mm. Luckily, the military were already at the scene with their extremely strong winds. So they started winching the vehicle in and had a police transport unit, which was also an ambulance, check the man over and take him to prison for running from the police. The police officer was still over here as he had forgotten to refuel in the morning. So he decided to push his car down the main road. <coughs> Then he realised it was too heavy, so he decided to call the best towing service in all of Hornby City. So the towing service quickly turned the vehicle around magically, not magically, they actually they went back to their thing and turned around and backed all the way back. Police officer and towing guy pushed the police car onto the tow truck bed. Seeing as the lorry that ran from the police in the first place had fuel in it, <coughs> the lorry took the police officer and his car to the thing and decided to get fuel from the lorry. This is a short extract of a story that is not true. I am making this story up. <clears throat> this is now also an extract from a mini movie. The military had to move their vehicle back into 
the garage and so did the police officer slash ambulance. So it was all them. They removed the car and put it next to the fuel vehicle. They filled it up and they just left the fuel car there. Anyway, that is the extra. Anyway, be sure to like me, subscribe to me and goodbye. Part 2 will be released in a few weeks.